visit the orange orchard to learn about vitamin C. <sighs> I love the smell of fresh oranges in the morning. As you probably already know, oranges are rich in vitamin C. So it should come as no surprise why we have them as our recurring symbol. Vitamin C, also called ascorbic acid, is absolutely essential during collagen synthesis because it's a cofactor for proline and lysyl hydroxylase. These enzymes add hydroxyl groups to proline and lysine residues of procollagen chains. The pest control pro using an OH net to catch a lysine lizard will help you remember that hydroxylation of proline and lysine requires vitamin C. The products, hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine, help stabilize the triple helix to allow for effective collagen crosslinking. Without vitamin C, we produce defective low tensile strength collagen, and this causes all sorts of clinical problems, which we'll talk about soon. We've made these orange tree trunks look like triple helices to remind you that vitamin C is necessary for creating a stable collagen triple helix. Please check out our collagen synthesis sketch to learn how collagen is made if you haven't already. Besides making collagen, we need vitamin C to make norepinephrine, represented by this oversized NE compass. As you may remember from the catecholamine synthesis sketch, Vitamin C is a cofactor for dopamine beta hydroxylase. This enzyme adds a hydroxyl group to dopamine to make norepinephrine. The inquisitive adventurer standing next to a rope and holding an OH net is dopamine beta hydroxylase. I bet he's looking for buried treasure, cause he sure as heck ain't looking for oranges. Anyways, another important function of vitamin C is increasing the absorption of iron in the small intestine. Vitamin C acts as a reducing agent to convert iron from its insoluble form, Fe3+, to its soluble form, Fe2+, so it can be readily absorbed. The worker reducing rust off a saw will help you remember that vitamin C acts as a reducing agent to increase iron absorption. Vitamin C is also used in the treatment of methemoglobinemia, a blood disorder that causes tissue hypoxia. Methemoglobin is an altered form of hemoglobin where iron has been oxidized to the ferric state, or Fe3+. Along with methylene blue, vitamin C acts as a reducing agent to convert methemoglobin back into hemoglobin. We also need vitamin C to make carnitine from lysine and methionine. This guy better watch out for that mountain lion creeping up on him, and possibly turning him into a taco. As we discussed in the triglyceride catabolism sketch, we need carnitine to transport long-chain fatty acids into the mitochondria for beta-oxidation. Last, but certainly not least, Vitamin C plays a role in prostaglandin metabolism and promoting nitric oxide synthesis. These kids playing orange ball using a pro slugger bat will help you remember prostaglandin. I bet that rapscallion is trying to hit the lawnmower emitting NO gas. Wrong move, pal. <laughs> 